Hi, welcome to Ruthiality. Today I would like to share with you um, something that I used for the last year because I was traveling between two different homes and I needed something with me to ground me and to help me um, with my spiritual path. Um, it's just simply a travel jewelry box. Just and it zips up, fits in a purse really, really well, and also a little notebook. Move this out of the way. A little notebook that has a pen attached to it. Um, both were purchased through Amazon. They're not that expensive, and you really don't need exactly what I have. I'm just sharing with you what I've used, and there's always uses for these little. Um, velveteen bags and you can put oh sorry you can put stuff in there and then also let me move this out of the way and show you what I put in here oops um, little glass vials with corks and these are really cool these are little roller balls you can put anything you need in there. Um, some people put moon water in there. They put uh, Florida water, anything that you've charged, either with the moon or the sun, or something that uh, you need, or like a, a fragrance, like one of your favorite fragrances that will help you ground yourself when you need that, that grounding when you're not feeling yourself. And these don't go in there, but these help put herbs, salt, whatever you need um, in the vials. I tend to use the tiny vials for my salt and my black salt, um, but that's what these are for. These don't go in the in the um, in the uh, jewelry box, but I have just a few items here today that I'll just show you what I do. Like, for instance, in one of these, I take the cork out. It's already been uh, cleansed. You can clean it with um, incense or a good old-fashioned soap and water. You can just do that. But what I like to put in these is literally stones. Uh, all kinds of crystals I put in here. and. You know, you can forgive my hand, I hurt myself. And you just, whichever crystals come to you that you need at the time, um, like this one's Amazonite, they're all really good. Look up the meanings, because I'm, I'm going to be putting a whole bunch in here. Um, oh, I do have amber. All of these have special properties. Now, if they're too big, sometimes they are too big, but, um, let's see if this one fits. Oh, cool. And then, like I said, I, I'm putting all kinds of fun and, uh, now I know I'm him and Han, but because this is only my second video, um, each crystal, I don't know if anybody's ever shared this online or what have you. That's fluorite. Um, Crystals do have a scientific backing to them. They do hold energy. They do um, conduct energy. Um, and if you put your intentions in them, they do help you. It is not like Merlin's magic, but it is... They do work. They do help you. It's like... You know, your televisions have liquid crystal in them, and they're conductive, and they show you a picture. So, each of these has a property, whether you consider it magical or not, there is something to that. And see, you can put more than just what I did, but um, I just put one of each of just the basic crystals. And then, in your little, you just, it will fit. I guarantee it will fit. See, you can put that in there like that. And then with like my salt, 
I have uh, Himalayan salt. Ooh. Let's see if I can get this here. That's where I get this nifty little. Uh, That, that, that one doesn't fit, but this one does. See? That one goes in there like that. And you just grab you some salt, put it in there, and these are perfect sizes. And it's, it's, I really appreciated the idea of these little travel altars because, or just travel sacred space because it gives you part of your home with you wherever you are and then you put that in there and then go like this sorry again this is only my second video and then i make my own black salt it's just himalayan pink salt and charred wood i will not use real char from bones that's nasty for one and two I'm vegan so and black salt is good for protection so just a little bit and how you make your own black salt which maybe in a future video I will show y'all um, you literally put the charred wood and the salt together in a mortar and pestle and you grind the heck out of it and then you put it in your little, I use a lot of it because I need a lot of protection. And then in here, I've got some Florida water. You literally just put it in there. Hopefully I don't spill it. <laughs> See, like that. Boop. Hopefully I don't spill it. Oh, groovy, it worked. <laughs> uh, and then like this, oh, it smells so good. And that just, for me, because it smells so good, it just helps me out. It, it just, and then you just put a little bit on your wrist and you just, you can smell cleansed and uplifted and then you put that in your little travel altar and then there's other things you can put in there too um, like uh, you can put any kind of uh, jewelry anything uh, that you're working on any kind of working that you're doing um, but this is just something simple you can put any type of um, for some it would be a talisman it can be anything an, um, like, um, let's see, like some people might want to put a picture of Mary and she would go right there or she can be in here like that and then she can be in there with you and then you just zip it up and you put it in your purse. Well, I hope this finds you blessed today and this was fun for me to make. I, I really had a good time doing this. And I just hope that this little um, idea can help some people out there that maybe, you know, bring something that's special to you with you. And when you're feeling down and you're feeling overwhelmed, you can just hold on to it and meditate with it or just what have you. And I, I again, Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.